For this tutorial, you will need an air filter, zip ties, optional is some duct tape, and some wire snippers. The first step is to get your air filter and set it over in the front of your fan. If it was like mine, the fan guard will not allow it to sit flush and it will be roughly an inch or two away from sitting flat. This is an issue because air will just immediately escape once you turn it on the fan. So you need to cut away the fan guard so that the filter sits flush. I've already cut away the fan guard on the front of my fan, so I'm going to demonstrate on the back what I'm talking about. Just pick a line of where you think it should sit flush, get your wire snippers, and just cut. Like this. Cut each single one and go all the way around. When you're done cutting all the way around, you should be able to remove the entire fan guard that you just cut out, and you will be able to sit your air filter flush. If it's still not sitting flush, simply go one more over and cut all the way around, remove it until it sits flush. Once you've test fit your filter and it is able to sit flush on each side of the filter, you are able to put the zip ties on. It's helpful if it's helpful to have something, a sharp object to just start a hole through the air filter. So just poke it through. So you get your zip tie and stick it through the hole you just created and it will come out the other side of the fan card. Simply pull it through, pull it through, and tighten it down. Do this on each side right here, here, and down here. And also when you install the air filter, make sure that it's facing the correct direction of flow. On top there's an arrow. This shows where the airflow should be pointing. So in my case, the airflow is going to go this way, so I have the arrow pointing that way. Now, we are going to test to see if all the airflow is going through the filter and not being redirected out the sides. So to do that, I'm just going to get a plastic bag, rip off a portion of it. You're going to turn the fan on, put your bag right here, and see where the airflow is blowing it. If it's blowing it outward, then you're getting air leakage and there's too much resistance in the filter. If that's the case, we're going to need to tape up the sides. So we're going to test and see where the air is blowing now. As you can see, it's blowing the bag away from it. So we're getting a lot of air hitting the filter and immediately coming out the side. So not all the air is going through the filter. So now we're going to tape up right here and hopefully seal it. So next step, if this was leaking air, you're going to get your duct tape. And simply wrap it all the way around the edge here. Now that the fan is sealed right here, we're going to retest it with the bag to see if any air is still escaping out this back edge. As you can see, the air is not blowing away. It's immediately sucking it in. So you know air is going in and staying in and going through the filter. If air is still blowing out of here, all you need to do is put another layer of tape right here. Once you've fixed all your air leakages, this should work now. I would not suggest getting this very restrictive type of filter. I end up, I will end up replacing it in the future uh, when it gets clogged up, but there is too much air resistance and uh, not enough airflow through it. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.